Time's come, baby. It's time to head to Oklahoma. Crossbar Ranch. Davis, Oklahoma, specifically. So it's about a little before 7 on uh, Wednesday. And, well, check out what we got here. We got Kyle, the carburetor hater, his X3 on E85. Paddles, regular tires. Might be asking where my machine's at. We're going to go pick that up from Whalen's. I dropped that off a couple days ago. They, uh... They made some serious improvements on that thing. Big power, big power. Did a little clutch change on there. STM Power Sports came through and got us taken care of for that. So it's about two and a half hour drive there. Overall, this trip I think is 17 and some hours. Let's just hit the road and get going. We were supposed to leave at 6.30, so we're a little bit behind, but you know, you have that was a big job. All right, folks, made the two and a half hour drive. We're down here, Wayland Speed R&D. About to pick up the Rex 3. This thing got a ton of nice new stuff on there. It's in, it's living its best life. Let's just say that. Check this thing out. Yep, that's STM primary. That's new KWI Helix. So John, what uh, what happened here? I, I hear a lot of good stuff. I hear much more power. I yep. hear RPM issues are fixed. I hear pretty much everything's good. I heard 20 pounds boost on launch control. I really like yep. that number. Yep. Um, so this is like the TRA conversion STM primary. It's the WCP Rage 4 with a TRA conversion so we can get uh, a TRA spring in it. And then we also swapped the Helix over because it was having an issue where it would bind up and cause it to shift kind of goofy at the end. So we swapped, initially we just put the STM primary on it and it made 382 horsepower or something like that first pull. Yeah, that's like 30 more yeah, than what we were at. Yeah. And then uh, James played with it for a while. And we, were, we were having issues trying to keep RPM down at like 60 miles an hour and up. So then we decided to try a different Helix and that fixed that problem. Yeah, perfectly sweet. Flat all the way out. So the STM, like, we played with a lot of tap stuff, and I know guys can get it to work really good, but it's, I feel like it's way more difficult to tune than an STM. I mean, we basically ordered this thing exactly the way we figured it would work, put it on there, and it was, I mean, what was the RPM on the first pull? It was a little high at the end because it had that other Helix in there, um, but it ended up, it was like 9,000-ish at the end. Yeah. Um, and but we, it was like 8,400 up until it did the weird right, stuff. Right, yeah, up until the Helix yeah. started affecting it. Yeah. And then we put the Helix on it, and then the last data log I seen, I mean, it was like a, a, it was like a shelf forever. Yeah. Perfectly flat. Well, another big thing is, like, if we can look at the dyno graphs, but the power under the curve, it picked up so much with this STM clutch on there. <laughs> Yeah, so we were having issues last time. It was just super lazy, like the engine speed wouldn't just like flare up. Right. And like I said, we can we could definitely play with this and tune it, but the uh, the STM just annihilated. Let me clean this up a little bit. This was the last pull on the, on the tab. <laughs> I mean, like this is a clutch change, folks. Yeah, we didn't do anything to the tune. So you can kind of see because the engagement on this one is a bit higher. It was like 4,000, you said? Yeah, it's like 4,200 really. Okay. Like you're kind of starting at more horsepower, so that helps like get it to light up. But I mean, these lines should basically follow each other perfectly, but we just gained so much yeah. out here. It's crazy. That's nuts. I mean, 130 horsepower, I don't know what, about 110? But the peak numbers, you know, that's, I think what was happening, the, theoretically the peak number should have been the same, like the clutch got to the same point. But I think with the problems we were having in the secondary with it being at full shift, it might've been slipping or some crazy stuff yeah. going on there. But it's much more natural. That was the shape we were hoping to get is, you know, a big uh, gain in the like low to mid and then smooth out the top. Yeah. So that basically solved that problem. Yeah, sweet. So pretty happy with that. Yeah, so big thank you to STM Power Sports. They got us that new clutch super fast. 
And uh, as always, thank you to these whaling guys for working on my junk. Wouldn't be going to this event with uh, the equipment that I have without these guys. So uh, I think we're going to get this thing loaded up and then hit the road. And yeah, we'll probably see some cool stuff along the way. Talk about some random stuff. And we'll be in Oklahoma in no time. At least you guys will. It'll be about 15 hours before we're there. Yeah, this thing's nuts. This thing. <laughs> oh, check this out. So John's got it set up in the MoTeC to where uh, sport mode is the uh, you know FU level power, and then if you put it in you know eco mode, it's pump gas. So that's super cool having that uh, essential, uh, essentially a different map. Got it set up to where when this switch is on, the launch control is on. Turn the launch control off with that. That's nice. And speaking of launch control, let's just uh, let's just see what this sounds like on launch control. <laughs> Alright, we gotta hit the road. The wind, I tell you, every time I try talking outside, the wind comes on. But we're at our first fuel stop. It's getting just under 12 miles per gallon D Max. It's towing good. Almost 5,000 miles. We're gonna hit 5,000 miles on this thing in eight miles or so. Great truck so far. Highly recommend doing a good job out here. Things are going good, sunny out here, 50 some degrees. So we're just driving, so I forgot how much time we got left. I think we're in the middle of Illinois. Just gonna keep on hitting the road, so. Found a nice truck stop. Get some fuel for our bodies, fuel for the truck. That's all you really need. We'll keep you updated on what's next. Just made another stop, got some fuel for both the truck and our bodies. It was Taco Bell this time. I'm feeling all right about it at this moment. We've got just under five hours left to where our crossbar is going to put us there at about 12.45. I think we're going to need to stop for fuel again. So I think tomorrow, Thursday, is going to be just like kind of a explore the park type day. Maybe hang out with some people. See some faces I know maybe. Uh, Friday, that's going to be the drag race. That's going to be later in the day. Excited about that. Haven't stopped thinking about it. Really why I'm here. Very jacked about that. Uh, that's pretty much all I'm thinking about, to be honest with you. And then uh, Saturday, I think it's going to be like a Bounty Hill race. or I don't know. I honestly haven't paid uh, too much attention to, to that day. Am I gonna take my X3 on a bounty course? Probably not. I think Kyle might. He was feeling pretty uh, pretty excited about that, so maybe that'll be his thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> News to him, I guess. Yeah, just learning. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the trip's been going really good. Knock on wood. Uh, yeah, everything's going, going very smooth, so I'm excited to get out there. Obviously, haven't been here before. I don't really know what to expect. The weather has been looking very bad uh, for the past week. I just talked to my friend uh, Hunter Owen. He owns Side by Side USA, runs that whole deal, and is putting on this event. He says, rain most of today. The weather's kind of cleared up. Right now, it's looking pretty bad out here. But he says the forecast for the next few days out there is, is pretty good. So looking forward to that. Hopefully that holds true. I hate to drive this far and just get soaked, but you know, if that's what we got to do, that's what we got to do. Uh, we'll be going to the Winoka Dunes after this event, so riding there Sunday and probably Monday. Excited for that. 
Didn't bring sleeping bags, gonna be in the 40s. I think we're gonna tent it. Um, yeah, it's gonna be cold. If you guys got suggestions on what to do, I don't really wanna buy stuff for it, so if you have any uh, suggestions, like use roadkill as insulation or something, just let me know. But we're gonna focus on driving. I'm gonna start editing this other video that I'm doing, and we'll be there in no time. I mean, we're uh, under five hours. We'll be there soon. It's getting dark out, so. Give you guys a last update before uh before we can't see well it's the next day we got the machines unloaded it's pretty wet out here and uh for me that means this thing's just racing because there's new stm clutch the clutch cover doesn't actually fit on the machine so this will just be race duty here we'll take kyle's machine out they're doing some poker run thing i'll take some video of that explore some areas around here this thing like i said just doing racing and then once we leave here we'll dune this thing and it'll be a great time Day. that was a fun little cruise haven't really done one of those poker runs before it's pretty fun not really what i'm used to but it was relaxing good way to start this trip out as a first ride so uh now it's time to get ready for some drag racing you guys will see that in the next video waiting on kyle to show up with uh some fuel and some other stuff but i appreciate your guys supporting this matter as always thanks for tuning in more videos from oklahoma coming up i think you guys will like them it should be pretty exciting stuff coming up see you in a couple days